How's it going guys? This is Jesse. Today we're going to be looking at four more miniature arcade cabinets. I'm starting to think I might have a problem. Guys, they finally did it. They've made a Dig Dug miniature arcade. I picked this one up at Walmart for $24.99. It has a micro USB port on the back so you can plug it in or it can run on batteries. Let's power this guy on. Now this seems to be the NES version of Dig Dug, but it's very comfortable to hold. This one is actually a hair larger than any of the other miniatures that I've shown off so far. The goal of Dig Dug is simply to explode your enemies with this uh, special pump that you carry around. Kind of morbid if you ask me, but who cares, because it's the 80s. I've always been good at this game, and I have fond memories of it as a kid. The joystick is very responsive, and the buttons work just as you would expect them to. One thing that is cool, you can remove the stick if you'd prefer to play with a more traditional D-pad. Overall, this is one of the most impressive miniature arcades I've found so far. I really hope they continue to make more in this series. Next up, we have Galaga. This one is made by My Arcade, just like the Dig Dug model. And it too seems to be based off of the NES version. Apparently shooting space aliens seemed to be rather trendy in the 80s, because after Space Invaders there was Galaxian, and Galaga was its sequel. The premise is pretty much the same, you can move left and right, and shoot these weird little buggies that show up on the screen. However, the gameplay is at least a bit more exciting than Space Invaders or Galaxian, with the way the enemies swoop in from the left and the right. An early example of a power-up in a game like this, if you allow one of the enemies to capture your ship, you can actually recover it by destroying them, and you can control two ships at once for double the firepower. It blew my mind as a kid. The main drawback being that it comes at the cost of one of your extra lives. It doesn't matter though, it is so cool. Especially when you get to the challenging stage. Kill them all! Kill them all! It almost feels like cheating. Alright, on to the next game. This is a version of Tetris I found at Target for about $12. There's nothing particularly fancy about it, but who doesn't love Tetris? It does have an LCD screen similar to the Pac-Man and Frogger units that I picked up at Walgreens. But on the plus side, it does allow you to choose your starting level or if you want to change difficulty. And they've added the modern convenience of pushing up to have the blocks instantly fall instead of having to hold down the entire time. They've cleverly used the limits of this kind of screen by partially filling in blocks with different predetermined colors. It makes the pieces look a lot more varied. It may not impress most people, but I thought it was a nice touch. Our last game is a tiny arcade like the Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man that I've previously shown. It costs about $12 at Walmart, and this thing is ridiculously tiny. Trust me, if you don't have baby hands, it's kind of cramped to use. I imagine that getting this footage is going to be pretty difficult. Alright, let's give it a try. Galaxian is very similar to Galaga, although not as advanced. The enemies still do come down and very effectively kill you, especially when your thumb is blocking a portion of the screen. Gosh. These tiny arcades aren't really meant to be held for extended play sessions, and more represent a proof of concept that if they can build it, they will. But I don't really care. These things are so freaking awesome. If I could take one of these back in time to the third grade version of myself, I would totally blow people's minds with this thing clipped onto my backpack. So that's pretty much all that I have time for this time, guys. I don't know what it is, but I really dig these miniature arcade cabinets, and I'm going to keep collecting them as long as they keep making them. What do you guys think about these little mini arcades? Are you planning on picking them up, or do you have a collection of your own? 
Leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below, and consider liking and subscribing if this video has helped you or entertained you in any way. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning into my channel, and I'll be seeing you next time. Keep on gaming, guys.